Hello, my name is Charlie and welcome back for another episode of Code and Steel in Supreme Rural Ultimate. In previous episode we took out quite a large chunk of land in Madagascar and we also took their capital. Uh, we hopefully will be able to retake the next capital as well. Uh, I suppose we got a bit of troops here and these troops so we'll just uh, keep on going and South Africa wants to buy some more consumer goods. Okay. Well, I mean, it's more money for us. So I'll take it. Ah, uh, we're running a little bit low on supplies here, so that might be an issue. Let's just pull these troops back a little bit. Resupply, they will have a bit less garrisons, at least in the next one. And Philippines wants to buy some consumer goods as well, okay. So everyone really is after my consumer goods right now. I mean, it's good money. But there is a chance that us trading with a lot of our enemies, so to speak, uh, that will sort of, um, not necessarily anger, but disappoint the rest of the Warsaw Pact, which isn't necessarily the thing that we want to happen. I do wonder if we'll have time to actually complete any of the roads uh, to the next cities. I mean, we've got one that is pretty close. I suppose there's technically an industrial complex, not a city, but regardless, uh, we are close to reaching there. We're not too far from reaching into the airfield either, to be fair. Right, have we resupplied? I think we have. Let's try again. It's down to three garrisons at least, and now we're dealing a lot of damage, and we got the supply spread in here already, so we'll be keeping the fight onward, or on even if we, we don't the stay there for too long. Oh, well. Okay, so let's move the capital even further south. So this is probably going to it's going to be for the rest of the war, really. Or the rest of this um, campaign, rather. Just going from one town to another one. Capturing it and then moving forward. Not that's necessarily a bad thing, but it can be a bit of a nuisance at times. But if we bring in enough troops so that we can leave some troops to, you know, rest behind while the others attack, or we can just use all three troops at the same time. Are we missing one from this? I think we are. Let's just take one of these tanks and it over there. Well, we've got three. Actually, that's only six as well. All right. Right, so no wonder that we were a little bit lackluster in the damage output. Okay, who's offering now? Philippines wants to buy some consumer goods. Alright, how much do we still have consumer goods remaining? We got down to 120. Ooh. We might be going a little bit too far in with this, so we should probably not trade anymore with the consumer goods for the time being. We're just selling way too much per day. And we just can't afford it. Right, but let's just go ahead and take some more troops from here. Start moving south. We'll wait over here for the supplies to spread in before we go all the way in. Actually, already 1% in there, but 0% there. If we give it a day or two, then we'll be able to attack the airfield, capture that one, and we'll have a look at the airfields over here for the time being. Or not airfields, roads over here for the time being. It seems to be doing fine. I suppose what I would prefer to do is probably get this one further down south, but also you can move south now because we've gotten the road up to there. And it's just that one's probably going to be done very shortly. We've got on the middle road over here. I think we've already got the road at the town here. Actually, no, we don't. We might want to help with that soon. Let's just go ahead and move this here to complete that road. Probably won't take all that long. Still having some lack of supplies, but that's not really a surprise. How much do we have consumer goods now? Down to 100,000 tons. It's not a massive buffer. Before we attack, we'll wait for the supplies to reach at least to there. Probably won't reach all the way here, but like, I suppose we already have a little bit here, don't we? A tiny bit. And Colombia is not a matter again. Payment overdue to us. Oh, Philippines are unable to pay, alright. Uh, how is our treaty integrity, by the way? We've been trading so much, for 72.1% already. I wonder if China would be willing to take some uh, treaties. Not a traction pack, maybe. And also, Romania, is there anything that I could do with you? Now, those industrial goods from. Uh, so, they probably didn't accept the deal. They might just ignore it again. They've been doing that for a while. I don't know if the text will actually make them like me more or not, but. You know, if it helps them, then it's probably fine. We're trying to um, sort of bring up the entire faction, not just ourselves. Uh, have we got. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of supplies in here now. Time to move in. The garrisons will fall. Uh, 
There we go. Let's just move into the town. We took their capital. Indeed we did, and we got another five million out of it. It might be... Well, they might be a lot poorer now. Let's go ahead and send uh, this tank group to clear out. I suppose we can actually use this tank group. Clear out the remaining towns over here. I don't know if there's garrisons in there. There might not be. No, nope, there's no garrisons in this. But you can stay there. You're a little bit low on supplies. This can move further south. And those roads actually haven't gotten much done yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we've got the road over here. No, we don't. Oh. Like over here we got the road already, which means that this can move further south. And that one's helping with the roads over here. At least the supply situation over here in the north is a lot better than what it used to be. Thanks to all the roads that we're building. And it doesn't uh, uh, like create new supplies necessarily, or like the supply network. It just uh, spreads the existing one a bit further. Right, I wonder if there's someone in this uh, gap there. Probably not. Ceasefire between North Vietnam and Comoros. Excellent. That's a little bit less war in the world. Uh, we could move down south of that one. Where's the new capital? It's all the way down in the southwest. Right, well that's going to be a bit of a nuisance. Uh, do we have another tank group over here? We do. We don't have all the tanks for it. We ha do have the group. Let's just take one of these. And bring it down south. Is that that is a full seven units? So that can certainly move. Right, they're not actually moving all that quickly in here. We are slowly getting supplies spreading in here, at least. So that's good news. Uh, let's just go ahead and move these further south. Start capturing more thoroughs so we can spread the supplies further. Uh, there is a village over there. I don't know if there's anyone in there, but there's a village. Oh, is there? Right, we're just slowly getting the supplies. I think if we just move in there, there we go. And now just move into the town itself. And thanks to all the, all so much supplies in here, the supplies spread rather quick, rapidly to the next uh, bit there. So if we just move a little bit in a day, then we should be totally fine. Right, high performance composite, that's the one that unlocks the modern industrial infrastructure. I remember now. And we haven't unlocked any new research that we haven't already queued up. Um, I'm going to reject that offer right now because I know that we don't have that much uh, consumers right now. So we can't afford trading like tens and tens of thousands per day. Our buffer has sort of run dry. And there's a road over here that doesn't connect to anything. Alright. Could be a military base. But I'm not going to build it. Uh, speaking of building, how is the consumer... Not the consumer, the industrial goods. Uh, oh wow, the in industrial goods price uh, has dropped massively. Well, there's basically no price at all in those. Uh, how's the... Okay, there's only 3% supplies in here. There's at least 40 over there, so it'll probably spread further. It'll just take some time. There's still a few towns over there in the far south. And these can start spreading... ...around a little bit, or spreading the influence around a little bit. That line's only 11 days away. We can't actually launch any of them quite yet. But we've got the infrastructure ready, so that once we can, we will. Let's check if we can just capture... Oh yeah, we can just capture that town. Excellent. That's going to allow us to get a bit more supplies in here. And it's also going to start reducing the influence that the enemies have. And we've got 70% here, so we can probably move forward. We'll just use these two groups to clear out the enemy capital there. We'll have these two groups um, slowly move south and clear out the rest of the towns there. And at that point, they will have nothing else. To move their capital into, so they will surrender. And then we'll just uh, reinstate a new government in there. That's all. Uh, how's the roads? Okay, so we managed to get these roads completed. And over here, it's already getting quite close to completion of more roads. At least the road network is partially done. We changed. Oh, come on, Romania. Stop doing that. Okay, do you need it? You need time, so I'm gonna give you the Spesnas design. And maybe some tank designs, like the T10. And some military techs. There isn't actually all that many things in here that would uh, interest them. Don't know if that's gonna be enough to flip them over. I suppose we could also have a look at what sort of goods they need. They could use industrial goods. Military goods. Oh, they do need some military goods, actually. 
I'll just give another 10,000 for free. Well, they probably do have the money so that I could just sell them. You know, just give them a very good trade deal so they'll be happy. Okay, 26%, so we can probably move down there. Pretty sure that we already have some supplies in. Well, actually, we've got supplies over there. It'll probably take a few moments to spread in here. Oh, Czechoslovakia is now not aligned. Oh, bollocks. I suppose I've been uh, spending too much time trading with the other nations rather than focusing on the Comintern nations. Um, or the Warsaw Pact nations. So let's just go ahead and, I don't know, I'll sell you 10 or 1,000 consumer goods in there. It's probably not going to be sufficient for your needs, mind you, but it's something at least. Oh, do we have a lot of electricity that we're not selling? Probably. Uh, do, actually, does Romania or... Oh, that's Ukraine. Romania, do you need electric power? You do. So if I was to sell you, say, for six days, uh, I'd sell you, say, 10,000 megawatt hours or so. You're probably willing to pay quite a bit for that. But it's also a good uh, tricky deal for you. Right, how much supplies do we have here? We've got 10%. And over here we've got 2%. Okay. So it's going to take it a little bit longer to spread. Although I suppose this one can move closer. And once we get that CP here, it's going to be a lot easier to get the supplies in. But yeah, we've uh, basically captured Madagascar already. There's just a little bit of cleaning up to do. And then it's done. Right, I thought I gave you orders to move in there. We've still got some troops over here. And I think the situation near Corsica has uh, calmed down quite a bit. I think it was just... This tried to send in a plane over to somewhere, I don't know where it was heading, and then we shot that one down, and then it came in to investigate that plane that was shot down, and then we shot that, all those planes down, and it was just a, a loop that was repeating itself for a while. Until they sort of ran out of planes to send in for a little bit. But yeah, France for some reason doesn't like us. I wonder why, I mean they've been fighting a war against us for a few years now. Right, how's this? Okay, we've got pretty decent supplies in here. We're gonna get pretty darn close to the areas already. These can probably just move south. And we've got the military vessels 51 and the satellites completed. Is there. Ooh. Hello. Modern submarine prototype. Although, actually, on the. Oh, November. That's a massive range. Okay. Naval nuclear reactors, I'll put that into the research queue. Uh, the super carriers, do we have any carrier techs uh, sort of? No, we don't have any unlocked. We do have the... Oh, right, do we have the Zulu already? The Zulu will be researched, and that's a good one because it's got a range of two tiles to fire the, uh, the torpedoes, which uh, makes it a lot more effective in blockading things. Uh, modern start prototype, we could certainly put that one in. And super carriers... I'll just put all of these. Some of them might not be researched anytime soon. But eventually they will be. Maybe we're going to reduce the pollution levels. That would be also nice. How is our population increasing by now? Okay, it's about two and a half million with the births and deaths. And then 460,000 and the death is it from that. So it's about two million. Two, somewhere between two million and 2.1 million that we get. Per year. At least that's the estimates. That might not be the full story, of course. Uh, do we have supplies here now? We do. Get a little bit closer. But the, well, you know what, we can just get in there. Get rid of this garrison that is remaining there. And you can just push into the town. Once you've cleared that one out, we'll just push in. These can already push into the town there. There we go. Uh, let's liberate. So, you are now part of the Comintern. Well, not part of the Comintern, but al uh, aligned towards the Warsaw Pact. So, let's put non-aggression, uh, full transit treaty. Oh, they will accept that. Oh, good. And maybe a line of sight as well. And if we're starting to get that good relations, we might be able to get some treaties with... Ooh, can I actually get a line of sight treaty with... No. China doesn't want to do treaties with us. Mm, not probably even the non-attrition pack, quite frankly. But China is not 
something that we can really do the deals with. What about Romania? Can we maybe get some mutual defense with you now? Probably not. But that is a nation that we freed. We'll get the trade or the access uh, done very shortly. Where are you heading to? You stay there. Because we just got the line of sight, the full transit and all that done. So we can just keep our troops in Madagascar for a little bit while we let them rest and all that. Uh, we did manage to do a lot of work on the road network. And the consumer goods uh, thing isn't all that strong. We could maybe give them a bit more industrial goods. They have um, basically no production. Well, actually, it probably needs to take a day before they'll have some productions. And then what I suppose I could do... We've got some of the planes here. I'll send them on a trip there to activate the enemy planes. Oh, there's an enemy escort. Oh. That, that, oh, it didn't do that. I'm going to do a quick patrol there. They might activate some of the enemies and then we can just return to the airfield. Sort of quick sortie. But how many Warsaw Pact Alliance do we have right now? It's down to 18 because we lost um, Czechoslovakia, didn't we? Let's uh, start figuring out how to improve relations with them. They got decent productions of most things. Including petroleum, they don't have a lot of timber production, so that's something that we could uh, sell them. Although we're running a little bit low on timber itself. Uh, we could maybe sell some rubber to them. I'm pretty sure that we got some extras, don't we? But yeah, we got plenty. Let's go ahead and sell them. If that's what they have available, that's probably their production from previous day. More or less. But they probably need like 3,000 tons. Would that be possible? I mean, I suppose it's possible. Whether it's likely, I don't know. Let's just sell them some... Like 300 per day. Poland and East Germany are uh, very firmly in our camp, at least. And then Czechoslovakia. Is there anything else that I could do with trade deals? Missile defense, you don't want that. Right. If they're not fully aligned to us, they probably won't, don't want to get a lot of the trade deals uh, or the various pacts. So China, for example, we need to get relations with them up a bit further. We could, of course, um, sell them some more techs. For cheap prices, and then India is running a little bit low on cash. Let's sell them something. So let's actually, just out of curiosity, how is USA doing in terms of text? They got few things that we don't, uh, but we got quite a few things that they don't. I think actually the number that, yeah, it's six versus six. I mean, they might have some things that we cannot trade for, and we probably have plenty of things that they cannot trade for either, or like their non-tradable text. So are these all... They are firmly in the common turn, and you've got your truce already, so we could maybe get a formal alliance. No, you don't want to have formal alliance. What about mutual defense? Maybe. And then Mayad. Um, could try getting mutual defense with you. Counter offer for 91 million. All right. And there we go. Uh, Czechoslovakia's water pack leaning once more. We might have to do some more trades with them to increase or get them fully aligned and then we're going to do some of the remaining packs with them. Like if we actually, let's have a look at Germany. Criminal extradition, we can get that done. Poland, we can probably do that as well. Maybe. They might require something as a counter offer, but probably not going to be too difficult to do that. If we just uh, sort of improve the relations with them sufficiently, then they should be pretty happy with it everything that we offer. At least in theory. Well, we've got some extra transports and interceptors over here. I think we're just gonna scrap these. They are old. It's gonna save us a little bit upkeep. And how is the economy doing right now? It's 3.7% unemployment, so the unemployment isn't particularly great. I suppose it could be that we were doing a lot of work over here on the roads and it Technically, might still consider our workforce to be tied up there. Even if it necessarily shouldn't be. Oh, so that road has been completed all the way through. That's good. Uh, the other road has not been like this. There's still some of it that needs to be built. They've done a decent bit of work. I suppose we... Oh, actually, could be using our resource of building this. Okay, we've got the criminal extradition with uh, Germany. Is there anything else that we could do? Free flow of labor force? Sure. Do they have a lot of, um... They got a decent bit of employment. Unemployment, sorry. And Poland, we could maybe get free trade. No, you don't really want the free trade. Okay, let's just sell you some technology, shall we? 
Technology silicon transistors. Oh, give me 100 million for that. Don't know if that's a fair trade, but I suppose it's fair for you. Um, integrated circuits for Romania. And then Albania is not particularly strong. Do they have... They got rubber, they got petro ooh, petroleum, they could need, but they got pretty good stockpile. Coal, they don't really need. Metal ore they produce. They could want to buy some uh, electric power. You know what? I'm just going to give them for like 30 days. I'm going to give them maybe 5,000 megawatt hours. It's basically doubling their capacity. And that might give get them a little bit closer into the... Oh, Poland didn't want to buy the tech. All right. Uh, we got the free flow of labor force of uh, Germany now. That means that there might be a bit more immigration into our nation because we've got l lower unemployment. Uh, right, waste management researched. That should unlock the next phase of that, which is already somewhere in here. Improved waste management. So that is going to be the next thing to research. That's going to reduce the pollution levels, which is actually going to be quite nice. And also increase the healthcare, which... How is our healthcare right now anyway? It's 91.2% still. We've got infrastructure at 99.4. Law enforcement at 108. Or 100.8. 100, uh, 100 overall, the social spending is still pretty high. But it will do for now. Uh, how is... Um, so they're not building the consumer goods factory in there. But they're still working on all the roads. And they can't stop producing the roads if they got the goods. Which they probably don't. But... Okay, yeah, we're not using any of our materials for the construction, so that was a theory that didn't actually hold true. That's alright. Uh, so you are still at war with North Vietnam. North Vietnam is getting more and more enemies the more nations we release, but at the same time, at least it's not that many overall. What do they need? Okay, they could need a bit more electric power. Let's just sell them some for like 30 days. We'll sell another... Um, we got 17,000 and that's about 40%. It's going to sell in 14,000 per day. Uh, so it's going to increase the amount that they can do, but it's not going to be sort of covering everything. But, you know, sufficient amount that it's uh, going to make a difference. Because Slovakia is now fully in, well, not fully, but at least they are partially in the um, Warsaw Pact again. Actually, is there... Which nations are importing agriculture? Because I know that we've got plenty available. Uh, UK, USSR, France, Denmark. They're importing a lot. Uh, West Germany is importing a lot. Let's actually sell some more food for West Germany. Oh yeah, I mean, they've got pretty good stockpile in there. They could certainly have more. Go for 90 days. Of, um... Go for, like, 43,000 tons per day they probably will take the trade deal because it's a good trade deal now Czechoslovakia can I get any more of these uh, deals with you you don't want the missile defense don't think you want any of them right now I suppose I could sell you some of the or just give you some of the tank techs for example so you can start building T10s oh I have six it's also a thing that we could sell to them. I mean, suppose might as well. I don't know if they'll enjoy that, but... It doesn't hurt. Let's actually get the specimens uh, to Albania as well. Oh, come on! You're moving away when I sell you military tech? Alright. That's a bit annoying. So what is there that you need? You need rubber. We've got quite a bit of rubber in here. How, what trade deals do we have ongoing? We're selling you rubber, so at least you've got a little bit extra. That's the only trade deal that we currently have active with you. I thought I gave you some electric power, didn't I? Oh, wait, no, they got the electric power production mostly. I suppose consumer goods is something that I could sell you. I don't have a lot of it, though, so maybe not. Military goods? I could give you military goods. It's going to give you, like, 10,000 tons for free. It's a, a bit of a loss for us. At the same time, we just need to sort of improve relations with them, uh, or one by one with these uh, Warsaw Pact nations, to make sure that they are fully uh, aligned with the Warsaw Pact, and that way we'll have some time to uh, fix things. Or like, once we get more of the deals done... Oh, there we go, now they're back in our camp. 
Uh, how is um, Albania is still just leaning like most of them? Right, so I suppose at this stage it might be time to start gathering up the troops in Madagascar. Uh, at least the land troops. Bring them all in here. And we got the modern nuclear medicine. Aha! Speaking of medicine, how is our rating now? Is it 91.7, so it is a little bit increased again. And modern ballistic missiles. Oh, that's going to get us closer on the space race, isn't it? Yes, it is. Naval nuclear reactors, modern sub prototypes. So that is going to get us closer and closer to the uh, November class submarines. Even the Foxtrot isn't too bad. It doesn't have quite as good range. It's still got a decent range overall. But actually speaking, it doesn't make that much of a difference. My 32 and 41 still reaches the same hex because it's 16 kilometers per hex. But yeah, it's basically the same distance that they can fire. But the damage is a little bit higher on the November class. Plus we can have red November. Oh, and there's gonna be a new capital ship. Uh, why is the... It takes over a year to build. It's got pretty long range on the fire and it's got okay damage. So that's not too bad. It doesn't have missiles. It's got pretty good spotting range as well. That can certainly be useful. What about escort ships? Is there anything new? There is some new things here. That doesn't have a lot of range, but it does have really good damage against the enemy submarines. Don't know if it can actually spot the enemy submarines though. I suppose we can double check that real quick. It can. Okay, so that's probably something that we should do. Uh, and it does have some missile capacity as well. Don't know how much it had, but oh well. It's not really that important, as long as it does have some. And no new transports. There's the elephant almost... Oh! Right, so the elephant would actually be pretty decent for... Like, that could land some of the smallest tanks already. Or a lot of infantry. Even some mechanized infantry, like the combat engineers that we use. Or later on, once we unlock some uh, BTRs and such. Like, we got the... I suppose this would be the first one. But that's uh, just poor stats on it. I'm not going to bother with that one. Unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.